Okay, let's go, guys. Now let's go. Ready? Going to the black car. Now, y'all got to be careful when you step down here. When you're going to be careful and faster. Come on, let's get across the street. Hurry, guys. Uh, hurry, hurry. Hurry up. Now I'm going to go to the black car. The black car. Right here, guys. Over here. This way. This way. This way. Uh -oh. Okay, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to bring y'all along um, with I got to do right here for her spring break trip. Um, I could not nail down the stylist that we normally use or anybody else for that matter. I think I waited too long, but um, so I'm gonna have to do it myself. But so first, like I told y'all, I um, try to do an aloe treatment like once a month. So I made the aloe yesterday. And here it is in my cute little tube and so I already started but I wanted to show y'all like kind of like how I do the process so she took her braids down yesterday or like two days ago and instead of like combing it out and detangling it we use the aloe to detangle it and it just make the curls pop and everything y'all so her perm is pretty much all gone I cut off the last few pieces of the perm there was that was there so this is all her natural hair now it's back natural i'm so excited for her so um so here go the aloe and it's cold i um keep it in the refrigerator it go on like jelly let me see hopefully y'all can see good okay there we go hopefully hopefully y'all can see it better but i wanted y'all to see how it come out it's like a jelly And then with this, I don't even have to comb it. I literally just use the aloe to detangle it. And this bottle should be enough for her whole entire head. And I just work it through. Especially on the end. That, that's it. And boom, it's already now it's detangled that quickly. And I'm putting my fingers all the way through. Hold on. From the root to the tip, it go all the way through without combing it or anything. From literally bone dry. Because y'all know you shouldn't try to detangle your hair when it's dry. I wish y'all could see that my fingers just go straight through. And we didn't even comb it did not comb it out you know usually when you take your braids out you gotta comb your hair out before you wash it now you could just use aloe and then let that sit for a couple hours and oh my god i just cannot believe these results Okay, y'all, so it's the next day, and I got to drop them off at school, but when I get back home, y'all, I'm going to finish right here. I got to, like, pump myself up because I got to make sure it's good. I'm going to be adding weave and, like, doing, like, a whole professional style, so I got to make sure I got everything, and I just got to, you know, just get my mind right. So, I'm going to do that when I get back. It is such a gloomy day outside. I talked all this stuff about the weather changing, and the weather didn't changed back, but it's going to be 80 degrees today, so... Yes. 
You need popcorn? I gotta buy some more popcorn. I gotta buy some more food. I'm constantly going to the grocery store. It's ridiculous. But, hey, gotta do what you gotta do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three back One for a little boy wins the way. One for a little boy wins the way. Ba, ba, black sheep. And you and you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> like sage? Sage? You come on, sage? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, those are the sister ones. Yeah. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. That's one way you could do it. Because it kind of looks like real hair. You know, I'm trying to talk her into locking her hair. Anyway, so I finally made it back. We washing her hair. I'm using the um, clarifying. I like to use my clarifying clarifying shampoo and then I went to the store and I bought some new conditioner. I like the suave um shampoo conditioner. So just getting it all in there. Y'all right here is so thick. Oh my god I can't believe her perm is finally gone. So, so now it's back to the roots. The you know poofy poofy Okay, so I got a new brush. I should have brought some clips. Some clips out here. Yeah, I need to get some clips. I'm gonna go ahead and put my conditioner in. Like we can. Okay, I got all the conditioner in. It's the last piece. I've been putting it in and combing it through so that way when we blow dry it, by the time we blow dry it, it won't be so, you know hard to blow dry. It'll already be combed through. This this can this conditioner flying everywhere. Get it in there. Ooh, her hair's so thick I gotta literally do it piece by piece just to make sure we get it all in there. I just love the curls. The front is still got some perm pieces. Okay. So we're just going to let this sit for at least like five minutes. Because it took me some time to put it in there all and just rinse it out. Okay, this is like the worst part that she had, but I just love how it's so afro-y. Look at that. Super curly and afro-y. But anyway, y'all, this is the part she hate the most when I got a blow dry. But since we um did the aloe treatment and combed it out with the um with the conditioner, look how easy it is to part through it and the comb going right through because it's it's already detangled really good. So when I blow dry it, it should um, not hurt as much. Cause it's already, look at that, it's already detangled. I'm gonna put some oil, um, put some olive oil. I thought we ran out. Oh, no, I told, it, it, it's up here. This the one, um, I was gonna tell you, but you said you was good, so I didn't even say nothing. Which I really don't want you to use it anyway. But, but yeah, so I'm going to put a little extra virgin. Just a little bit. While it blow dry. But it's, the results are really good as far as how detangled it is.
heard it? She said it actually doesn't hurt. And y'all know it may look like it's kind of short, but that's because I cut it. I had to cut the perm, the last little few perm pieces off. And um, yeah, I just had to cut it. So this is all brand new hair, brand new natural hair. So I think, but I think natural hair, not natural hair, healthy hair. Healthy hair is more important than it being uh, long. Cause ooh, if we have, if we flat iron this, this would be so cute right now. But I'm not gonna be putting no heat in it cause I really want her curls to keep popping. So we're not gonna put no heat in it. Blow dry heat, I, I think don't really hurt it, but it's that flat iron. Once you start straightening out and squeezing it with the flat iron, I feel like that mess it up, but the blow dryer don't. Especially if you just do a light blow dry, cause that's all I really need right there. Just to, you know. Do some braids. Okay, I got most of it because it don't have to be like all the way dry since we just um but y'all oh my gosh look I was just telling her remember last summer when I was talking to y'all about um how her hair was half perm half new hair and we was growing it out and blah 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 and now look not even a whole year later it's the all grew out. Look how big it is. She heard just like Kyra. How cute. It's so fluffy. I want my hair to be back thick like this. But anyway, okay. So that's it, girl. Okay, so I got it sectioned off i'm gonna show y'all a picture of the style i'm gonna try to do but it's gonna be like single braids in the back and then like french braids in the front but i think it'll be easier if i section it off first so i got it let me see we got one two three four five six rows so this should make it easier so hopefully it won't take long but i'm just come back when we're done Okay, y'all. Oh my God, I did so good with these braids. I got one more um, roll left, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dip these uh, so we can be almost halfway done. I already got my water. Ooh, put, put your head back. Whoa. Okay. Ooh. It's the hard part, guys. Ooh, don't go too far up. Okay. Okay, put, put your head back some more. If I see them the way they was doing it, on, um, they let it drip down. Okay. Ah. Wait, did Wait, how am I still feeling? What you mean? Oh, the heat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you still have it in your hair? No, it's on the floor. What? That's the, that's the uh, steam you probably feel. Yeah. Does it hurt your neck? <laughs> okay, you can put your neck up. I have to be the queen of the ice. <laughs> I did a good job. I did six rows and they kind of small. I just got to do the top. Ooh. Okay. So I should do this last row and then I'm going to do the front. Not bad, not bad. Well, guys, we did it. I finished her hair. It's like 10 o'clock at night. And she's leaving in the morning. I'm so sad, guys. She's going to be gone for like a whole week. But, um, so we, I'm helping her get her bag ready. Make sure she got everything. Show them your hair. Ooh, do a spin move. Okay, girl. I got to dip it one more time. Come closer, like, so we can see the braids. Put your head down. Okay, okay, okay. Now spray. Y'all can't see it, but it's like glitter. I'll put some glitter for her hair on there. 
but um yeah so she's just get it all packed up and ready to roll but her big trip yeah go through each um are your swimsuits because i know it's in there you know what i'm talking about you don't know what i'm talking about i still gotta I think i'm gonna run to the store tomorrow and get her something else some uh night clothes Ooh, because she could be gone for a long time. <sighs> anyway, y'all, I'll be back probably tomorrow. Okay, y'all, so the next morning, Ra, she rode with me to drop off the babies at school. And then we went to Target to buy her some swimsuits and night clothes, but I forgot to record. But anyway, so here's a good video of her hair again. It came out so good. And as um, soon as we got back home, her dad came and picked oh her up. Oh, my God, the day is here. She's leaving. Who car is this? I'll be down. Her dad's here to pick her up, guys. I can't believe my baby gonna be gone for like a week. Can you see me? I want him to get her bag. I'm gonna just leave it out here. Okay. Let it come on.